midnight hour when there's nobody else around I gotta say Jesus have mercy on me it reminds me of the woman that falls on the commercial she said help I can't get up she's there all by herself and the more she hollered the more she cried out there was nobody in the house that can hear her cry so what does the commercial say it say here's a medical alert system that if you push the the button they may not be in the house but it will call 911 it will call a family member because now you found yourself in a place of disability you have hit the ground and you can't get up they showed a woman in the tub and she couldn't get out so what they was telling us you need this help before you need help you need this help before you find yourself in a place of disability when you can't help yourself but I come here tonight to tell somebody I don't care what the people say you better keep on crying out oh Lord have, have mercy on me Jesus in the midnight hour when I'm right there by myself man of God I've had a season that when my husband when he got sick the doctor said he had to go to the nursing home I found myself in a strange place in a strange land I had to get used to not having my man six two in my bed my protector had left my home the man I had married was no longer the same man I, I couldn't call nobody to tell them my problem because they wouldn't understand but I learned I learned how to say Lord on me I need your help I didn't know how I was going to make it in that season of my life yes I was preaching all over the country but this trial of my life has shifted me in a place that I had never experienced before so the God that I knew I had to posture in a different position to learn him in a new place and a new position what was what was that position my husband was no longer in my house for one year one year solid from the time the doctors yeah they put it out they said oh yeah sister white law she trying to get rid of her husband yeah they said yeah sister white law trying to kill her husband they want him dead she don't want him to live they lied on me man they lied on me they talked about me i didn't put him in the nursing home the medical doctors said his Parkinson's disease, psychosis. He don't know what is real and what is not real. He turned on me, the woman he married, because the disease had got a hold to his mind and twisted his mind. So I was the one that he loved and that he married and took care of. But at one moment, I became an enemy. And he came after me. The doctor said he's got to go into the nursing home because he needs 24 hour care from a medical staff. They said that I put him in 
the nursing home so that I can travel. The devil is a liar. They lied on me, but God wouldn't allow me to defend myself. He said, keep on, keep on serving because at the end, my word is going to stand one year from the time he went into the nursing home. He passed and went on to be with the Lord. But I learned how to live on God in a different way. I didn't care about the people. He was my husband. I understood that he was a pastor of the church, but he was my husband. They don't know what he told me in our secret place. They don't know what he didn't want and what he did not want. But I was willing to stand against the odds and still cry out, Lord, have mercy on me. The Bible, the Bible said that when when the people criticized the people strongly they disapproved the blind men they said to them hold your peace stop all that hollering stop all that screaming shut your mouth be quiet but the bible said they cried out they cried out the more have mercy on me oh lord the bible said that they cried out until Jesus stood still. Have you cried in the midnight hour? Have you cried until you got God's attention that he stood still in your house? He stood still in your prayer. He stood still in your praise. Jesus stood still and he said what? Will ye that I shall do unto you? I don't care what people say. You gotta get God's attention for yourself. I don't care who lies on you. Keep on crying. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. The Bible said that when Jesus asked them the question. They answered, Lord, that our eyes may be open. When you cry out to Jesus, have an answer to his question. What do you need? What do you want the Lord to do for you? What do you want the Lord to do in your life? Do you want him to heal your body? When he asks, have an answer. I need to be healed. What do you need healing from? Diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. I need healing from the virus. I need healing. You got to have the answer. And the Bible said that Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus had compassion on them. Not the people, because people don't really care unless they have the compassion of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that when Jesus had compassion, on them he touched their eyes and immediately their eyes received sight what do you mean by immediately happening without the loss of time when you cry out to the Lord immediately he's getting ready to turn your situation around. He's getting ready to bring deliverance in your situation. He's getting ready to answer your prayers. The Bible said that they received their sight and they got up and followed Jesus. God is not giving you a miracle. 
miracle for you to go back and live in the kind of way he's not bringing you out for you to live the way you want to live but when they got their sight they follow Jesus Jesus the hope of glory Jesus the lily of the valley Jesus he is the bright and morning star Jesus said I am the way the truth the light, no man, oh, no man comes to the Father, but by me, my cry is getting ready to get changed in my soul, my cry out to my God is getting ready to put me in the face of God, does anybody have a cry, say Lord, have mercy, on me, Lord, have mercy on me. Are you getting God's attention? Are you getting His attention with your praise? Praise Him. Clap those hands and bless Him. Everybody standing in the presence of the Lord.